Well, based on the internationally best-selling novel, the new Amazon series Expats follows three American women whose lives intersect after a sudden family tragedy makes them take a deeper look into who they really are. Take a look. I think my marriage is over. Has David been home? No, ma'am. What am I still doing here? Do you ever imagine yourself living a completely different life? I think we need to think about getting out of here. Because we're drowning and you don't see it. Alam natin lahat ang tungkol sa employer natin. Mga sisreto na kahit pinakamalapit na kaibigan niya ay hindi alam. <laughs> and star of X Facts, Jack Houston joins me now. Welcome back. Good to Thank see you. Thank you so much. So good to see you. It's like a reunion day. It nice, really is. Nice guests coming back in to see us. I know. I'm trying. We were trying to remember when the last time it was. It might have been back in the boardwalk days. The boardwalk it, it Empire. It have days. been. I, I can't, can't believe even it. believe. I feel oh like you've been goodness. here before that. But uh, I think so. so. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Let's talk about this project because I was yeah. watching this last night. This is such a good show. And mm. as we said, I mean, this was based on a best-selling novel. How close is this? script to what we see on the page? Um, I think, um, <clears throat> you know, Janice Y. Keeley, who wrote the novel, um, was very keen uh, to Lulu Wong, our amazing sort of writer, creator, showrunner, director, everything <laughs> extraordinaire, to sort of take artistic license and run with it. So, you know, as she said, the novel's already out there. This is something new. This is an opportunity to create something and, you know, really run with it. Um, so, I, I, you know, I think everyone was encouraged that this is... It varies from the novel in many ways. It's yeah. a really interesting take on... on I, on I actually like that, though, because if you read the novel, you get, like, a taste of it. Yeah. And then you get a whole new experience with the show. Exactly. So yeah. let's talk about your character. So you play um, the husband of one of the three women. Yes, Sarah, you, exactly. Yeah, so you play Hillary's husband. Hillary's husband. So let's talk about your character. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. You know, I watched the first episode, first two episodes. He seems to not be in a great place, this guy. Yeah, it's um, it's interesting. I, I got a phone call. I was very lucky that I got to work with um, Lula Wong on her first feature, her oh. first thing she ever did. So we, we've been staying close friends. So she gave me a phone call and said, um, you know, I'm thinking of you for this character. And, you know, he, exactly right. He's not in the best place. He's going for a real midlife crisis. And she was like, the two sort of things, the prerequisites of taking on the part is you have to put on a lot of weight and you have to agree to do nudity. some pretty serious nudity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, well, anybody else, um, I'd probably be curious. And I was like, before I even read it, I was like, well, it's you, so fine. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, usually that, like, <laughs> nudity and losing weight goes... Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> so usually you're like, in the gym oh. for six months, like, yeah. getting the best body. She was like, no, you need to be seriously, you know... Oh, you know heavier. Uh, heavier. And, and show the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're like, exactly. where do I sign? But it was such a complex, beautiful character. He's, he, you know, he's tragic. He's, um, yeah. he's going through what a lot of people, you know, in life do go through and questioning things, and it all stems from trauma. Yeah. Which the show is very much about. It's yeah, this show is getting glowing reviews um, for it's shining a light on interracial relationships, diverse representation of yeah. expats, um, the lives of domestic workers. Mm -hmm. Like when you were reading this and, and now experiencing the show, what what kind of is the pull for you? Like what, what are you drawn towards in these storylines? Um, well, Lulu's just so brilliant. And she wanted to make a show that just, it's from multiple perspectives. So, you know, it is from the migrant worker, it is from the husband, it is from the wife, it is from those people. You know, a lot of the time we see these shows and it's about the victims. She also said, um, well, trauma can also come from the perpetrator, yes. the people who committed yeah. the act. That is an interesting twist. And it's a really twist. interesting twist on that, the perspective, showing it that there's a lot of layers to these things. So, yeah. you know, my character, you might initially think is, you know, a little bit of the villain. Um, but as the show carries on, you reveal what has happened yeah, in this person's flawed. life. He's a I don't see him as a villain. I see him human. as a, a human. The human. Is flawed. Yeah. You have to come back because we have oh. more to talk to you. Oh, about. I'd love to. I'd okay, love to. Please do. And Expats premieres Friday, January 26th <laughs> on Prime Video. Definitely watch it. It's going to be so good. good to see. Lovely to see you, sir. Yes. Thank you.